mountaineering, you have a lot of chance to enjoy yourself or to die at the end. I was soloing in Chamonix. It's mixed climbing. You are at 3,500 meters in the in winter time, and you have ice, snow, and mix of everything. And uh, I did a mistake. Uh, when I fell, I just thought, I'm so stupid. I just would like to live with short pants uh, close to the sea climbing. So I followed this uh, thing. I followed this feeling, and it drove me here. Because my, my, every day I would, I, I thought maybe tomorrow I'm dead, you know. Because when you have this life, when you climb alone, this is how it is. Falling is forbidden. While climbing, falling is part of the game. So this is a very cool thing. For me, climbing is a kind of uh, experimentation of my mental state. And to really feel it, it's even more than singing, it's first. Uh, it's a feeling. So it's not about muscles or not about it. So this is very fun, you know. It's, it's safe and fun. So, uh, in climbing, we don't like uh, rules. We try to, to, to not uh, harm other people or the rocks or anything, but the best thing in climbing is this freedom. I was lucky because I, uh, I was the first climbing instructor uh, on the island. So for me, teaching uh, my students, so some of them are like, they have huge enterprises, they have a lot of responsibilities, a lot of money. So I hope this kind of activities in the nature uh, will help some of these uh, persons to realize that uh, there are not only performance on money that are important. Better to be poor but have a nice life. Uh, this guy with uh, one leg, he lost his leg when he was 16 years old. And uh, this guy is a like, really, really strong climber. Uh, and he does his life, living in his van, skiing also with one leg. So sometimes people complain, I'm too, I'm too tall, I'm too fat, I'm too small, I'm too big, I'm too this, I'm too old and blah, blah. See, like most of the time, your brain will fall before your body. That's why I think to, to see my friends uh, with one leg or uh, my friends that is sick or this kind of thing, uh, it's very positive because they have had a very hard life, but they won't give up. And they will always try to, to feel good and get better. And, you know, so. Yes, we are healthy, but we mustn't waste your life for them as well. You must even more try to, to have a beautiful life. Yes. So that's why you have very tiny women or kids that can climb excellently. Much better than me. 12 years old, very small. There is one guy, how, how old is the... So, yeah, 93 years old guy, still climbing. Okay, so hopefully I will climb long like that. See you.